A group of researchers in Portland, Oregon have reportedly made the first known attempt to produce genetically altered human embryos in the country. According to MIT Technology Review, people familiar with the scientific findings claim that the project, directed by Shukrat Mitalipov of Oregon Health and Science University, involves modifying the DNA of several one-cell embryos using the gene editing method CRISPR. To know more about these gene edited humans, continue watching the channel Refine Tech. As other scientists were the first to investigate the contentious practice, which American scientists have, up until now, observed with a mix of amazement, envy, and even fear. Three papers on the modification of human embryos have been published to date, all of which were produced by Chinese researchers. Genome editing, also known as gene editing, refers to a range of scientific techniques that enable the modification of an organism's DNA. At specific sites of the genome, these technologies enable the addition, removal, or modification of genetic material. There are several methods for genome editing that have been developed. CRISPR-Cas9, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, and CRISPR-Associated Protein 9 is a well-known example. Because it is quicker, less expensive, more precise, and more effective than existing genome editing techniques, the CRISPR-Cas9 system has sparked a lot of interest in the scientific community. CRISPR-Cas9 was developed from a naturally occurring genome editing mechanism that bacteria use as an immunological response. When a bacterium becomes infected with a virus, it targets tiny bits of the virus's DNA and inserts them into its own DNA in a specific manner to form parts referred to as CRISPR arrays. Bacteria are able to remember the viruses thanks to CRISPR arrays or closely related ones. In the event that the viruses retaliate, the bacteria generate RNA segments from the CRISPR arrays that are able to detect and bind to particular sections of the virus's DNA. The virus is subsequently rendered inoperable by the bacteria after cutting the DNA apart with Cas9 or a related enzyme. The problems facing the scientific community have gotten more complicated in the three months since He Zhangqi announced the birth of twin girls with altered genomes. He jumped capriciously into a time when technology could change the human germline and rewrite the gene pool of future generations by engineering mutations into human embryos that were then utilized to generate infants. Along the way, he disregarded accepted standards for human protection of safety. There is still no concrete proof that the biophysicist was genuinely successful in altering the DNA of the daughters or those of a third child. However, the tests have garnered so much interest that the incident might change scientific inquiry for years to come. He is still being investigated by Chinese officials, and U.S. institutions are interviewing some of the scientists he consulted. Meanwhile, proposals for a global ban on related research that could impact fundamental science have prompted other exports to support the case for genome editing. Whether or not scientists plan to alter the germline, some people are worried about how the public scrutiny may impact the field's future. In order to better understand how cells govern themselves, Frederick Lanner, stem cell researcher at Stockholm's Karolinska University Hospital, believes that the negative focus is obviously undesirable. Others, however, believe that scandal could advance human genome editing. Global cooperation on the science and its governance may be accelerated, according to Jonathan Kimmelman, a bioethicist at McGill University in Montreal, Canada, who specializes in human trials of gene therapies. The relative ease of plasmid design and manufacturing makes the CRISPR-Cas9 system superior to other mutagenesis methods like ZFN and Talon. Instead of relying on protein or DNA recognition, the CRISPR specificity of Cas9 at each target site depends on the creation of a ribonucleotide combination comprising of the sgRNA and the target DNA. By swapping out the sgRNA's native guide sequence, 20 nucleotides, for any desired DNA sequence, CRISPR-Cas9 can be easily modified. Additionally, unlike ZFN and Talon, which are susceptible to CPG methylation, CRISPR has a high degree of specificity when editing chromosomal sites. Last but not least, the monomeric Cas9 protein and a variety of distinct sequences specific gRNAs make it simple to carry out multiplex genome editing with the CRISPR-Cas9 library. The popularity of this low-cost and user-friendly technology has been boosted by the ease of CRISPR-Cas9 programming and its ability for multiplex target recognition. 
He Zhuang Kui, a Chinese scientist, was sentenced to three years in prison in 2019 after declaring that he had used the gene editing technique CRISPR slash Cas9 to modify the DNA of twin girls before birth, making them resistant to HIV. At the time, he was an associate professor at Shenzhen Southern University of Science and Technology, and he declared that he was proud of the accomplishment. Many of his peers, however, denounced him for the experiment, calling it monstrous, unethical, and a major blow to the standing of Chinese biomedical research. So, are you guys planning on doing gene editing to create a creature like you? Before it attacks, make sure that you've already subscribed to our channel. <laughs> Just joking. But please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever a new video is posted. With any truly powerful technology, whether in the biological sense, sciences, or elsewhere, there is a danger of misuse, according to Klaus Gustafsson, secretary of the Nobel Committee in Chemistry and Professor of Biochemistry and Biophysics at Stockholm University. According to scientists, human germline editing has been put on hold. At the same time, attempts are made to properly control its usage properly. Commission declared that it has still too early to use gene-edited human embryos to conceive a child. A new study finds that CRISPR gene editing can lead to unwanted changes in human embryos. The CRISPR apparatus caused cells to lose entire chromosomes rather than correcting genetic mutations. To be familiar with the principles of CRISPR technology and its inherent flaws, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine are the four different chemical codes that make up DNA. These codes are housed within units called genes and take the form of a simple, double-stranded molecule that can be easily replicated. These units are read as codons, which are units of three. Simply put, these genes are the section of DNA that encode the more structurally complex proteins, which in turn construct the biological machines and structures essential for all life on Earth. Due to DNA's capacity to replicate itself, the coding in every human's DNA may currently be traced back to the earliest cells that existed on the planet. By using CRISPR-Cas9 technology to specifically alter the DNA code of the two twins known as Lula and Nana, Dr. Hay's research altered everything. The CRISPR-Cas9 approach depends on two essential components, as its name suggests, CRISPR and Cas9. CRISPR is a type of repetitive DNA structure that was initially unintentionally found in bacterial DNA in 1987 by the Japanese researcher Yoshizumi Ishino. The precise purpose of these DNA repeats remained unknown for 17 years after their discovery until it was realized that they would allow bacteria to recognize and defend themselves against invading viral DNA. It was discovered that these peculiar DNA repeats originate from viruses. Invading viral DNA can be fragmented by bacteria, which can then store it in their own DNA and use it as a guide for the Cas9 enzyme to obliterate the viral DNA sequence if it ever tries to reinvade. To accomplish this, Cas9 creates a substance known as a guide RNA using the DNA that has been stored. The guide RNA, which is typically encoded by a CRISPR repeat, directs CRISPR to the DNA that needs to be cut. CRISPR can only bind to its target under two circumstances. Cas9 must first attach to the target sequence in a certain PAM, a three-code variant in DNA, protospacer adjacent motif. Cas9 can identify the majority of PAMs since they have a, the code GG. A bacteria's Cas9 system searches for recurring patterns in the DNA of invasive viruses. This enables the bacteria to recognize and eliminate the viral DNA. However, during the past five years, we have learned how to use this capacity to control Cas9 using custom-designed guide RNAs to modify the genomes of other creatures. The alpha helical globe of Cas9 is where the guide RNA attaches. The nuclease lobe of other domain of Cas9 then connects to any flanking region of the DNA strands that coincides with the guide RNA, causing the DNA's double helix structure to unwind. The close proximity of the DNA to the Cas9 complex and the electrostatic contacts between the RNA and DNA assist this process. The DNA is now in cleaved by the two distinct nuclease lobe domains. Comparative studies indicate that, while the exact mechanism of the still unknown, it is most likely that the two distinct components of Cas9 are able to pull protons off of the water molecules and then weaponize the deprotonated water molecule to break the DNA. This is accomplished by cleaving the DNA at two different locations in the genome, one of which is the target site, HNH, and the other of which is a non-target site, RUVC. Depending on the strategy needed, a variety of things could happen at this point. A deaminease enzyme that can target particular bases for mutation, producing entirely new mutations, can be added to Cas9. 
Suppose the target DNA is thought to be undesirable. In that case, it can be simply cut and removed. Our new DNA can be inserted at the cutting location through a procedure known as homology directed repair. That's all for today. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this. To receive notifications, click the bell icon. Also, please spend some time watching other videos on our channel.